Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to get rich in Car Dealership Tycoon 2024. I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips and tricks you guys can use in order to make yourselves richer in Car Dealership Tycoon. Get yourself to the top of that leaderboard. I don't want to yap, but we are nearing closer and closer to 50k, so do hit the subscribe button, please, please, please. Also, Happy New Year. It's currently 9pm for me. It's probably New Year for if you're live living in, like, I don't know, New Zealand or something. P.S. Yes, like and subscribe, and um, that's all I have to say. How can you get rich in this game? Yes, you. You watching. I am watching you. Oh, like it's one of those motorbike donnies. Ah! Hello, hello, lads. It is me. Happy New Year. And with a new year comes totally new grinding methods. You what? So, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be going through how to get rich in Car Dealership Tycoon 2024. Actually, that's kind of a lie. It's actually... 12 p.m. on the 31st so if you're watching this in australia it's probably 2024 for you let me know in the comments how it's going is it good is it bad i want a couple of sneak peek teasers from you guys but anyways that's i'm gonna be going through some tips and tricks you can use to get rich in this game now i'm not talking about like uh so what you have to do first is you have to go to this plus icon and then you have to click 3000 no 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 none of that none of that why is there a police officer raiding my dealership bro oh <laughs> Hello there, mate. <laughs> Jeff, I'm sub. Shout out Ultimate tri ti Trim Tim. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks. Now, these are tips and tricks that almost anybody can do. It's not just about, like, the best grinding method. You look bigger than I thought. Thanks. My first tip and trick... Oh, my God. It says 66. It says 66 at the top. Shut your my first tip slash trick is boosts. Now you're probably wondering what I mean by boosts. Oh, that police officer's back. If you go to the top left of your screen, you will see this little icon here. Mine says 2.35x. Yours might be different. But if you click it, you can see that driving money, you get plus 10% if, you, if you've played for more than 10 minutes. You get 25% if you have Roblox Premium and you have 100% more if you get two times money. Obviously, two times money at times it by two, obviously. But these boosts are very essential. Now, despite the fact that they're in some literally tiny button in the top left they are very important if you play for 10 minutes you can kind of do that very easily chances are if you're watching this you've probably already done it getting roblox premium is sort of like a if you can do it if you can't don't you either have roblox premium or you don't there's different price points for roblox premium i think like five pounds for me might be different currencies for you and then getting two times money so two times money is another game pass which i'm going to go on to uh, in a bit am i recording right now uh Potentially. Yeah, these boosts are very important. If you want to know which boosts apply to you, then there'll be a tick here. If they don't apply to you, I think it just, I, it'll be like blank or something. I'm not too sure. But those boosts are very important. Make sure you go and check if those boosts are on. My next tip and trick... I need to stop saying this because my uh, my tongue is going to explode. My next one is going to be having the best cars in your dealership. Now, a lot of people will tend to put their favorite cars in the dealership or just like not put cars in the dealership, which is fine if you really just don't want to get rich. But essentially, these cars, if you go up to them, if you go up to little pedestals, you can see this one's earning $187 per second, just sitting here doing nothing. And each of these cars is earning a set amount. If you go to change it and you scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll have the one that you have already on so the sc2 atara is the one i've got on now but it's got ones that are actually more expensive on here so for example this sc2 atara gives me 148 per second but actually that isn't the most expensive one if i scroll down okay the reason this isn't the most expensive one because i haven't changed the dealership in like two years but the 919 hybrid evo the porsche gives me 150 dollars per second which is doesn't sound like a lot more but in the long term two dollars built to four six eight etc so in the long term this is actually the way to go and the way that this menu works the way that the change menu works is it actually sorts it by which ones give the most money so if you look here the Chiron super sport 300 plus which is the car i've got on now there's nothing i can unlock below which means this is the maximum possible earning thing i can have on this platform now i've run into a bit of confusion here why is the gt black series here because it's 140 the next one's 130 i'm not too sure that must be a bug or it might be because it's a game pass car or a limited car there are multiple cars which give the same value so just as long as it's the highest value possible then that's fine so this floor is at its maximum production capacity let's just say i think it excludes game pass cars from like the sorting but i think if you want to find out what game pass cars give you you just gotta like scroll up a little bit Two. So currently this dealership is working at a massive rate as you can see my money going up in the top 1360 per second so you literally have to wait here for a hundred seconds and you get 100 grand. Like, you can literally just sit in the game and earn 100 grand. How crazy is that? I'm, I'm not sure this is illegal, and I probably shouldn't be saying this because I work for the game. But if you, like, put an auto-click or something on and just sat here, you could earn a million in a thousand seconds. 
how much is a thousand seconds? <laughs> Calculator. 16 minutes and you can earn a million dollars. How crazy is that? Now that tip and trick is more or less for like if you're good at the game and you already have all the most expensive cars. If you don't have the most expensive cars, then figure out which combination of cars on platforms gives you the most amount. He is doing an intro. Mate, I, I did my intro like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> now another tip and trick which isn't talked about too much is the fact that you can actually do dealership deliveries. Now I need to wait for one of these guys to come in. Here we go. So customers will walk into your dealership and you can talk to them. Hey, what car would you like to buy? And they have a certain budget and they have a certain spec that they want. This guy's budget is tragic. He wants a 20 grand one. I'll give you that. What rims do you want? What on earth are those? Six and a half. Those are these ones, yes. It was black. Black. And then you want it a bit of raised. There we go. Five stars, $4,000. Now you earn that $4,000 automatically, right? But you can get guys with bigger budgets who come in with budgets of like a million plus, two million plus, and they can give you like 30 grand for just like giving them the car. And then on top of that, you can see if you click this little briefcase here, you actually get to deliver the car. So the car that I just delivered was, was it, was it like an ATV? I don't know. I'll deliver an F1 car. And actually, if you complete 20 deliveries, you can deliver two cars at once, which will just increase the amount of money you get. I don't have that yet, because I'm lazy. But if I start this, I'll be put in a tow truck with the car on the back, and you have to go to where the arrow is pointing, and it does dock stars if you take too long. So make sure you be a bit speedy with this. Now, it said the amount that I was going to get on the thing, but I wasn't paying attention. I think it was like nine grand I'm going to get from doing this. And keep in mind, you do also get money just from driving. Not much, though, but it's money's money. <laughs> Thankfully, this guy is literally just here, so you gotta just park in the box. Who takes delivery of an F1 car in a desert? I don't get it. There we go. So I delivered that, and I got 30 grand from delivering that. The profit was 9,500, but I got a bonus of 225% because I did so well. I got four stars, and I got $30,000 from that, which is insane. And that's on top of the $9,000 I got from selling the car in the first place. So just like that, I've made 50 grand in about two minutes, which isn't a bad grinding method. It's good if you're maybe, like, starting out. The only issue is, I feel like if you're starting out, you're going to have low-budget people coming in. Now I'm going to be going through game passes, which I think you should buy. Now, if you can't afford these game passes, that's completely fine. That's not going to, like jeopardize your whole gaming opportunity you can still grind you can still like do everything it's just these game passes will enhance the ways in which you can grind so if you go to where's the game pass it's in the shop right yeah, in the shop no that's the houses so these are all of the game passes you can get now the game passes that i will suggest you don't buy special colors pointless if you're trying to get rich you just get you just get a few i think it's like 12 or 16 extra colors when it comes to the cars it kind of just depends which ones you can actually afford the race cars the f1 car is really good when it comes to the hyper cars the hyper cars these are the two best cars in the game so you automatically win at car dealership tycoon if you have this game pass so that's a really good game pass to have. Game passes, which I do recommend as well, are two times money, which you talked about here. You get 100% boost if you have two times money, obviously. But get double money from dealership and driving. So you get double money from the money that you put in to your dealership. And then another one which I recommend you get is VIP. Now VIP, the reason why I suggest VIP is not because it is gives you like any boost or anything. If you're not amazing at the game and you want a quick car, then you can actually get this from it. This, I believe, is a VIP car. It's a Bugatti Veyron. As you can see, it is pretty fast, and it also sounds very nice as well. So that is your Bugatti Veyron. This is the car you're going to get from VIP. But those are all of the game... Oh my god, it's like a stampede of people just, like, rolling in. But those are the game passes I recommend you buy. And these are all of the cars you can get. So for the hyper cars, obviously, you get the Jesco Attack, the Absolute, and the Agera RS. Top speed, the Jesco Absolute is going to be your best, uh, the best one. I don't know what the other two are for. They're there just to look good. <laughs> You can also buy money as well. Now, realistically, I'm not a fan of just buying money, but realistically, if you have the Robux, then <laughs> go all out, bro. If you get 25 million in this game, you're retired. You've won. You've won at life. So that's all I have in terms of like subliminal tips and tricks you can do. Now I'm going to go on to what I think the best grinding method is. So if you've got a many hours and you just want to like earn CDT cash, then my best grinding method is probably highway grinding. Now I don't mean doing the high race, I mean just getting on the highway and just driving, doing laps of it. I mean check this out, I'm not even at top speed yet, I'm nowhere near top speed, I'm earning 4 grand a second here. Let me just get to top speed and see how much I can actually earn. I thought it says how much I earn here. Okay, it says per mile is 3,750, but I'm getting a Lot more than that because I've got I've got two times money etc. I need to get to top speed. How am I gonna get to top speed? <laughs> the thing about the Jesco Absolute is it doesn't reach top speed all that often, so maybe be better off with a different car. But I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys uh, discuss that in the comments. I'm, I'm earning about five grand a second here, which is insane. Okay, here top speed, top speed, top speed. 
five and a half thousand dollars per second now you're not going to be at top speed the whole time in fact you're only at top speed for like a fifth of the time so let's just say you earned four and a half grand a second doing higher grinding in the, in the jessica absolute oh this guy's overtaking me now come here come here no 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 come here boy Oh, there's a bullet there. <laughs> In a bit, lad. Me and this guy are high speed chasing. Let's see if I can catch up to him. Nick Mana. Ah, uh, see that's an issue because I'm a bad driver and I just hit walls. There goes the bleed, the Agera. Oh, he's they've crashed as well. At least I'm not a bad driver. So that is the best grinding method for me. However, if that does get a bit too boring, then you're more than welcome to start doing like the circuit race or the cross country. That, that doesn't exist in this game, does it? That's a driving empire thing. So let's go to a bit more of a budget technique. Now, if you don't have a high top speed car, which in this case... If you're watching this, you might not, which is completely fine. You might want to reconsider your grinding method. Now, if you do have the Chesco Absolute and you do have a high top speed car, then go ahead and highway grind. But if you don't, if you don't have a high top speed car, then what you need to do is you need to analyze your best car. Say your best car is a GT4 RS. This is more of a track car. It's not got a high top speed. It's got a high handling. It's also rear wheel drive. You can also upgrade it, essentially. So, 567,000. I wouldn't recommend upgrading stuff at a low stage because the upgrades are very, very expensive. Like for a GT4 RS, it's 560,000, which is twice the value of the car itself. Stop the cap. <laughs> but I would recommend maybe grinding circuit race with this thing or doing like a track focus turn focused race as opposed to highway grinding because 180 speeds is fine if you just want a quick way you don't want to like have to try hard if you get what I mean you can highway grind in any car if you just don't want to try hard but that's fine so there is no best car but if you want a good grinding method then get a high top speed car see the thing is all of the cars are priced by top speed so this 918 goes 209 the Revolto goes 210 this GTR goes 225 Five, that's a game pass car 211 since they all keep going up in price as the top speed gets higher it really just depends how much money you have at the time to buy the most expensive car you can in order to get the highest top speed out of it However, if you're at somewhere like this stage like you're getting a few supercars maybe a couple hypercars then it could be that upgrading your car is actually more suitable than actually buying a new car because because realistically if you can upgrade your car for say like a million if you have this car you can give it a rate upgrade for 1.2 million which will increase the speed by 21 miles an hour but if you went ahead and bought a zonda r that's another 11 million dollars down the drain for an extra what 224 for no extra top speed. So realistically, in some situations, it could be much better just to give yourself a race upgrade. But that's more for like more expensive cars. Don't do this for cheaper cars. Don't buy upgrades for cheaper cars because you'll regret it later on. It's too expensive. But upgrades for supercars and hypercars is definitely a must because you're going to get more top speed out of just upgrading the car that you have rather than buying a whole new better car. But overall, in terms of like the best grinding method... Oh, what's going on behind me, bro? I've just been like driving around and I've got a whole horde. In turn... Oh, hello mate in terms of your best grinding method i think what you should do is analyze the situation that you're in do you have a high top speed car yes go highway grind if you don't have a high top speed car if you have more of like a track car then go do like the circuit race the oval race maybe i don't know what's going on with my avatar this looks very suspicious <laughs> So let me know in the comments any other tips and tricks you have for grinding car dealership, car, car, car dealership tycoon. Yeah, so I think just driving the highway is your best bet to grinding because it's not, it's not too, like, intensive. You're not having to, like, turn and, like, really focus. You just gotta, like, drive on the highway. Not much attention span is needed and you get a lot of money from doing it. Those are all of the tips and tricks I have for you. If you have any, leave them in the comments. I've said that, like, three times. Like and subscribe, Discord, Instagram, and, um, yeah, that's about it from me. Bye.